Hi, my name is Pippi the Pig Big Ring. Today, I'm going to tell you a beautiful story named The Little Match Girl. This is a very famous Christmas story, and it is written by a famous writer named Hans Christian Andersen. I hope you like it. It was terribly cold and nearly dark on that last evening of the old year, and the snow was falling fast. In the old and the darkness, a poor little girl with bare head and bare feet roamed through the street. It is true that she had on a pair of slippers when she left home, but it was very large. And barely feet her little feet, for they belonged to her mother. The poor little girl had lost them, running across the street to avoid a carriage. One of the slippers she could not find, and the boy seized upon the other, ran away with it, saying that he could use it as a cradle when he had a children of his own. So the little girl went on with her little barefoot. Her feet was quite red and blue with the cold. In an old afron, she carried numerous matches. No one had bought anything from her all day long. Shivering with the cold and hunger, she crept along the street. The snowflakes fell on her long fair hair, which curls under her shoulders. Light was shining from every window that night. There was a beautiful smell of roasted goose. Ah, it was a New Year's Eve after all, she remembered. In a corner, between two houses. She sat down and huddled herself together. She drawn her little feet under her, but she could not keep off the cold. She did not dare to go home. That's because she had not sell any matches. Her father would certainly be angry at her and not allow her to go home. She thought. Besides, it was really cold at her home, for there was a big crack on the roof, which wind can go through. She wondered if one of the match she carried on her hand can keep her warm. Ratch! She decided to take out one of the match and draw it against the wall. She used it to warm up her finger, and it gave a warm, bright light, just like a little candle. As she held the match over her hand, a wonderful light coming out of it. Standing in front of the little girl, a large iron stove, polished with brass feet and a brass ornament. Wow! Look at the fire burning. It was so bright. She no longer feel cold. But the flame from the match went out. The stove vanished in front of her, and all she can see is a half-burnt match. She decided to rub another match against the wall. It burst into a flame. And where the light fell upon the wall, she can see what inside of the room, and in front of her, a table appeared. It was covered, it was covered with snowy white cloth, and there was all kind of delicious dishes. What stood out the most 
is a fat roasted goose stuffed with apple and dry plum. Suddenly, the goose jumped down from the table and ran towards her with a knife and fox in his breast. The girl reached out to get the goose, but the light went out again. Now all she sees is a thick wall before her. She decided to light up another match. Then suddenly, in front of her, a beautiful Christmas tree appeared. It was large and beautiful and decorated with all kinds of glittery ornaments. There was thousands and thousands of candles. As the girl stretched out her hand to reach them, the match went out. The Christmas light rose higher and higher until they looked like a star shining on the night sky. Then she saw a star falling leaving behind a bright streak of fire. Someone must pass away, she said. She knows that because her old grandmother, the only person who had ever loved her, told her this. She decided to rub another match against the wall. Suddenly, come out of the match, a bright, beautiful light shining above her and stood in front of her, her old grandmother, smiling and loving, reaching out her hand. Grandmother, cried the little girl. Oh, please take me with you. I know you will go away when the match burns out and she decided to light up the whole bundle of matches. She was trying to keep her grandmother with her for as long as she can. As the bundle of matches glow up with a light brighter than a noonday, she saw her grandmother reaching out her hand and holding her tightly. Her, the grandmother took the little girl in her arms. And soon, both of them flew up on the sky, far and far away from earth, where there was no longer cold, no hunger, no pain. In the morning of the next day, people gather around to see a little beautiful girl. Her face was still smiling, leaning against the wall, frozen. The child sat there, covered with snow, but still holding the matches in her hand, one bundle of which was burned. She tried to warm herself, the people said, but no one could imagine what a beautiful thing she had seen. The girl is now with her grandmother on that New Year's Day. I hope you enjoy this story. What lesson have you learned from this story? I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.